Hello and welcome back to Fighting Irish Extra. I'm Catherine Dudas and at the seniors last home game on Saturday it was the coldest football Saturday in years so the seniors weren't the only ones crying. We kick off this fix with a huge NCAA win for the men's soccer team last night. Notre Dame got offensive against Wisconsin, dumping the Badgers 4-0. Despite polar temperatures, ACC Offensive Player of the Year Harrison Ship scored twice, while Patrick Hoden and Vincent Zarelli scored once. The four goals are the most ever for the program in an NCAA tourney game. The third-ranked Irish will host ACC foe Wake Forest next Sunday at 7 p.m. at Alumni Stadium. The Irish beat Wake Forest November 2nd, 3-1 in the regular season. Notre Dame cross country had a strong finish at the NCAA championships this weekend. The men's team placed 23rd of 31 teams, while the women's team took 29th out of 31. Martin Grady earned All-American honors for the program, finishing 35th individually. The fifth-ranked women's basketball team took down Penn 76-54. All-American captain Kayla McBride led the Irish with 15 points, while freshman forward Taya Reimer added 14. Natalia Chanwa scored four points in 14 minutes in her first game action of the season. The Irish are back at home on Tuesday. They take on DePaul right here live on Watch ND. Ryan Camden and Rich Heidi will have the call starting at 6.50 p.m. The women's soccer postseason run came to a tough end on Sunday. They lost to Michigan 1-0. A Michigan cross inadvertently knocked down by an Irish defender's hand led to a Michigan PK that would be the game winner. Previously, on Friday, they defeated Western Michigan 1-0 in the second round. Notre Dame closes its inaugural Atlantic Coast Conference season 13-8-1 after reaching the final 16 of the NCAA tournament for the 13th time since 1997. Congrats on an awesome season, ladies. It was a rough weekend on the road for the Irish Icers. On Friday, they fell to UMass Lowell 1-0, despite outshooting the River Hawks 40-28. On Saturday, they lost 3-1. Brian Russ found the back of the net on a power play in the second period. The Irish are back at home this weekend, hosting the 2013 Shillelagh Tourney. They take on Alabama Huntsville at 7.35 p.m. on Friday. Remember to like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash fighting Irish. Follow us on Twitter at fighting Irish and follow us on Instagram at the fighting Irish. From everyone here at Fighting Irish Digital Media, we wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. Go Irish!